Marie, if you'll just take these downstairs to the basement, I'll decide what to do with them tomorrow. Thank you very much. What you, wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? Is that the box Inspector Castillo brought over here? I was going to put the box downstairs in the basement, CC. Bring it back to my daughter's bedroom now. Now. Just leave it here. I'll handle it. Thank you. I hope I'm not going to be scolded. We have to put these things away sometime. Why now? It's too soon. I'm going to give them to charity. I just couldn't bear to get rid of them yet. I mean, just not. I'm sick and tired of everybody thinking that, uh, just trying to forget about Eden, that's all. I am not trying to forget about Eden. For God's sakes, I never could, and I never would. But one of us has to be realistic. Once I'm alive, a memory will be strong in this house as if she is still here. Do you understand that? And you'll do anything to perpetuate it, whatever the cost of the living. I was in Kelly's office today. Whatever are you trying to do? What are you talking about? What did I do? Kelly is under the impression from you that she's going to take over the business one day. We discussed it. If she does well and moves up a Delta, I don't see any reason why she couldn't. She's not Eden. And you cannot mold her into the image of Eden. If you do, you'll make her miserable and it won't bring Eden back. You listen to me. I love Kelly every bit as much as you do. And I would not do that to her. Not intentionally, maybe, but Cece, Kelly has her own special gifts. What if she doesn't live up to your idea of what you wanted to be in business? What then? I just want to give her a little confidence, a little direction, that's all. Is that so terrible? I'm not forcing her into anything. Well, I'm just giving her something to strive for. Don't push her. Don't mold her into something that you want her to be. You are so strong. I don't think that you really understand the effect of your strength on your family including me.